Mark, I'm not quite sure where we begin with that, but you hung on in the end. What, what an afternoon. Yeah, well, we, uh, we put in an outstanding performance then today. Um, first half, as good as we've played since probably have come here in terms of being able to capitalise on good opportunities and actually taking chances, which has held us back somewhat. We've had other occasions where we've, we've played well, but haven't got those chances that you need to, to put away. But we, we did that 3-0 uh, to the good at half-time and, and good value for it, in my view. I thought we were excellent. Uh, we wanted to put Arsenal under early pressure. We didn't expect to score after 20-odd seconds, but uh, we're more than happy with... with uh, obviously, we were talking about we needed to get more balls into the box. We probably uh, haven't done that as much as we, we needed to do uh, in other games. So uh, that was something that we worked on in, in the week, uh, and that was very fruitful for us. Second half, um, we were a bit aggrieved, obviously, with... Uh, Bojan's uh, second goal uh, being chalked off. I mean, at 4 0, absolutely, we could rest easy and, and enjoy the rest of the evening. And uh, I thought it was an outstanding individual goal. And for the referee, who seemed to be the only one who wanted to, to see something wrong with that goal, um, he was the only one that was going to make that decision. Everybody else had accepted that it was a great goal by Bojan and uh, fully deserved uh, the plaudits that he was getting at the time. Um, I thought initially. The linesman had given it, given it offside, but apparently, uh, after we'd talked in his ear, he said that the referee gave it said that Mamdouf was in front of the goal, goalie's eye line, and I think that's a little bit harsh to be perfectly honest. We're trying to encourage a great play, and certainly Bojan was fully deserving of a second goal. And uh, under those circumstances, we we had a situation in midweek where certainly uh, the play was interfering, but uh, the goal stood. Um, so there's got to be a little bit more consistency in, in terms of uh, referees' interpretation and what they allow and what they don't, because at the moment it's all over the place. It, it almost feels like you, you're being slightly greedy that you should be talking about a fourth goal against Arsenal to put you 4-0 ahead, but actually it was it was pretty it was critical. It was yeah, a key absolutely. moment, as it turns out. Absolutely, and it, it could have gone totally the other way, and that's the, that's the fine margins that we're talking about. So um, from that point onwards, uh, for whatever reason, I think maybe... We lost a little bit of control at that point and uh, very unlucky with uh, the penalty that was awarded. Um, just came across Geoff and I think he's clipped his heel, there's no intention, he's not trying to, to foul him to stop him crossing, it's just to coming together and it's, uh, and it's clipped him. So uh, you have to accept that some people will give a, a penalty for that. 3-1 and then we did mark at a corner, good strike uh, by Lad Ramsey and 3-2 uh, when you're thinking, well, Goodness me, how, how the hell has that happened? Because at one point, as you say, we're 4 0 to the good, and then very, very quickly it's 3 2. So um, it was up and down, certainly in that second half, but uh, we'd done enough in the first half and fully deserved the win, in my view. Arsene Wenger, who I think personally doesn't particularly like coming here, and his, his teams don't appear to, he suggested that for Stoke supporters, uh, this is the game of the year, and that they add an extra 10%, uh, and maybe the players do too. I mean, is, is that the case? I think that maybe has been the case uh, in previous years. I think today they just enjoyed the game and enjoyed what we produced. Uh, uh, this crowd is, is unbelievable and if you give them good quality play then they'll get behind you 100% and that's what they did today. Um, I don't think that's any different to any home crowd. Um, our decibels are a little bit louder than most but uh, in terms of getting behind their, their club uh, there's not many better. As a former striker yourself, um, just just a word about Bojan's finish. I think for the second goal, the way that he allowed that ball, just even in that tightest of space at that kind of pace, to let the ball come across him, finish with the other yeah. foot was quite something. Yeah, it's a great finish. I mean, he technically he's a very gifted uh, young man, and uh, we're delighted with what he's producing at the moment. He's had to bide his time, but we brought him back in, and uh, and he's produced in almost every game that he's, he's played in since since he's returned to the side. Great, great finish, as you said. Uh, good early ball from. Johnny Walters mentioned that we, we were trying to get more balls, good quality balls into the box and uh, people again on the end of them and uh, uh, it, was, it was great performance once again, arguably since he's come back he's probably been man of match in every game he's played. And pickings have been a little thin for you in recent weeks, mm -hmm. what does that win today, that occasion do for your season do you think? Well, I think it just confirms what we all all felt that we were playing well. We weren't getting the rub of the green. We were, we were a little bit disappointed that we didn't get anything out of Liverpool. Certainly disappointed on Manchester United in midweek. Coming here today, uh, we're in good form, and I think we showed that in the in the first half. And that's the reason we were able to get into a three-nil lead. Um, 
we wrote a look towards the end when balls get thrown into our box and uh, you have to define manfully, but uh, we're good at that as well. So uh, all in all, really pleasing result and performance.